All right, guys, I'm up here. I just came to the house, but I told you I was going to do that limit. I did verify the limit is bad. This house does have zoning on it. Honey well, dampers are open and closing like they're supposed to. Got your bypass that comes off the back. And it feeds back down, dumps into that return, feeding back into the system. So we have a bypass that does operate properly. It does bleed over when the small zone is calling and the opposite zone is closed. And uh, the dampers are opening and closing. The filters were really, really dirty when we were here the other day. So that was kind of the reasoning we were figuring this thing was going out on high limit or the limit was just worn out. Zoning is not, systems aren't designed for zoning. They put a lot of wear and tear on a system because you've got two thermostats, three thermostats in some cases controlling a system. So there's a lot of on and off cycling back and forth. And it was just an easy way for a builder to build a two-story townhouse or a three-story townhouse and instead of adding a second system they just zone it out on the cheap so real quick I'm just going to check my static pressure with all zones running so we've got a 0.19 there we do have a return on the opposite side and it's giving me a 0.21 so we've got about an average of a 0.2 on our return and we'll check our supply real quick so we've got a 0 0.06 well 0.04 so I mean we're dealing with about a 2.25 static on our duct system which is fine. Um, if you notice here there's a brand new train coil. We replaced the air conditioner on this last summer. Still has the Linux furnace. Um, just cost was a, an issue. This furnace is about 13 years old. Cost is an issue. It was an issue for the homeowners at the time. Um, so they just did the air conditioning and we had a leaking coil uh, expense on that system. It was R22. It was going to be old or hard to, hard to really fix that based on the expense of doing a repair on an old R22 unit. But they, they kept the furnace and I'm going to pack everything up. You guys stay tuned for a cool story that just happened while I was here on this call. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm following up on that story real quick. I didn't spend a lot of time going through this. Um, the limit itself actually was open permanently. It's auto reset. Opens at 160, closes back at 130, 160 minus 30. Um, the one that was in it was bad. It was stuck open. Put a new one in it. <clears throat> Probably 13, 14 years of zoning and constant cycle on off. Airflow, one zone closed. There's a bypass on it. But when the bypass bleeds, it's bleeding that hot air back in through the system. So it's going to throw your temperatures off going through that thing. Um, <clears throat> reason I don't like zoning, the wear and tear. You've got two thermostats, three thermostats, constantly cycling one system back and forth, on and off. Temperature changes, hot ex heat exchanger, cold coils. It's just it's not ideal for operations of, of heating and air equipment. They're not designed for it, but... There are accessory items that are installed in certain situations. It's cheaper than adding it. They could have, the builder could have put two systems on this house, chose not to. So that's where you that's where you get the zoning from. But while I was there working, <clears throat> guy comes up in the attic and uh, and asked me what I you know what I had going on. So I was just back to do the repair on it. And he asked me, well, did, did do you did they tell you what I was doing? I guess he meant did the office let me know what was going on. But <clears throat> we put the air conditioner in this thing back in the fall. And doing the furnace was going to be an additional uh, $3,500, $4,000. Money was tight for him at the time. He decided he'd just go with the air conditioning, AC, and coil. And then maybe in a couple of years get the furnace done. Um, had some other things going on. <clears throat> So his son came up in the attic while I was there and he said, I'm just letting you know that you guys are coming back in a couple of weeks 
to replace the furnace. His father didn't know, so he was doing this for his father, I guess. The things ha what happened happened not somewhere between Thanksgiving and Christmas. I guess it was during the holidays, so this is kind of a, I guess, a late holiday Christmas present to his parents. So I thought that was pretty cool for him to come up there and you know, or not to tell me about it, but to be uh, taking care of his uh, parents like that and squaring them away with a new furnace. But uh, they don't know about it. It's going to be a surprise. Um, we're actually doing the son's house uh, uh, here in a couple of weeks. So, um, But I just thought that was a cool story. I, I never had that happen. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Like, subscribe. And stories like that, man, you got to love it.